process of creating interior elevations in Revit architecture is identical to exterior elevations. The differences in these types of elevations are the symbology, elevation tags, and where the views are categorized on the project browser. To create an interior elevation, I'll start by activating the view ribbon and choosing the elevation button. With the type selector, I'll choose interior elevation as the type to create. Now I'll move into the drawing area and to the portion of the model that I need to elevate. Upon clicking in plan, I'll confirm both the location of the callout as well as the location of where the elevation will be taken from. Note the new view name is now created on the project browser under the interior elevations category, which we did not have before. The direction is initially created parallel to the angle of the closest wall. The callout can be rotated after placement. This can be done only after ending the elevation command and then selecting the elevation tag. The circular rotation symbol allows you to drag and rotate the view. A double click on the view name in the project browser opens the view. Here you should notice that by default Revit will crop the interior elevation to the extent from floor to floor as is typically desired. Keep in mind that if there is not a floor, ceiling or roof object, the interior elevations will likely need to be manually cropped so as not to span multiple levels. To illustrate the elevation view crop automatic behavior, I will zoom in to the lounge, room number 111. As I place the view near the right wall, the view extents will associate itself with any intersecting bounding elements, such as walls, floors, and ceilings. So, if you have a room that is not a rectangle like this one, be sure to place the callout in such a way as to capture the entire elevation of the wall or walls, such as this short north-south wall bounding the electrical room where you would like to elevate. Likewise, if the ceiling has variation in height, place the view callout in the tallest portion of the room. Switching to the RCP view of this room, you will notice that there is a suspended acoustic tile ceiling with the exposed slab deck above around it. Place the callout over the tallest part of the room and you can move the callout after placing without affecting the generated view because the view camera stays in place. Note that the callout view arrows and the view itself represented by the blue lines are three separate elements. The view crop will automatically adjust as the building model is updated, as long as you do not manually edit the affected crop boundary edge. Multiple interior elevations can be quickly created from the same elevation tag. To do so, select the callout and plan, pick one of the boxes to the outside of the callout to create a view which faces that direction. Notice that the project browser and callout now list each of the view's names. One final note about interior elevations is that they additionally behave as shortcuts to the views that they represent. To shortcut into an elevation, make sure that you have nothing selected and no command is active, and then just double-click on the elevation tip.